Me? Yeah, you. If you look closely at the image, you can see that there's two spots open in the urinals, but no one wants to go there, which is the two people waiting in line, who could be late for class. This builds into our argument, will installing urinal dividers improve the comfortability in restrooms? And 95% of the people who answered said yes. And if you think about it, all five of the urinals would be used if there were dividers. There's a conscious rule for students to not go next to someone. And that rule came about basically because of the lack of space and dividers to not get looked on, essentially. According to our data, 64% of the people have been looked in on and has felt that it lowered their self-esteem or made them feel uncomfortable. And 88% of the people believe that if an incident were to happen in the restrooms like this, it would indeed impact the focus in school. We can easily avoid things like this happening by simply putting up dividers, or maybe even spacing out the urinals. As for the gaps, we believe that we should completely rebuild some of the stalls from scratch. The gaps are on the same level as urinals. For example, you can get a reaction like, Hey, I'm in here, man. Yo, I'm in here. Hey, hey, I'm in here, man. Yo. You in here? Okay, what the hell? Hey! Yo. Hey. Hey! Or one like this. You sure, man? Alright. Obviously, it's a bit over exaggerated, but the point was to show how some can really feel insecure after being looked in on, and more than likely, that kid is going to remember it throughout the day. And as study shows, more specifically, Eric Erickson's theory may affect your sense of identity, and Eric Erickson's theory is where a teen would explore their independence and themselves. Now, that being said, obviously we don't want some stranger, even a friend, to look at your private parts that are private. So why don't we just stop any risk of this by fixing the gaps and implementing urinal dividers. It isn't exactly expensive and it wouldn't take that much time, maybe one to two weeks at most. So instead of just fixing the gaps, we could completely remodel the stalls, which we all know need a little bit of remodeling anyways. With a really quick Google search, we found that we could easily purchase the 12 dividers we need to ensure privacy for all students, all for a little over $200. Even if we needed to pay thousands for remodeling and installation, we believe that any price is worth the privacy and safety for all students at Arroyo High School. If money really is a factor in preventing us installing these dividers, we could ask for help from ROP as a project to make the dividers, or make a petition for kids to sign, or even parents and maybe even ask for donations. If that is still an issue, according to school policy BP7111A, any identified needs for repair, modernization, or construction shall be incorporated into the district's facilities planning process. Making this need apparent, the school then has to, according to policy, go through with our idea. On top of that, bullying or sexual harassment has been made clear to be unacceptable, according to policies 4119.11, 4219.11, and 4319.11a. Do we really want bullying to stem from someone like using the restroom? We can stop it before it happens. So exactly how often does this happen? Oh yeah, all the time. Believe it or not, this was one of the questions we genuinely had. Would you pee in front of the class? Although some of the answers people gave were jokes, we were 100% serious about it. Of course, I'd like to assume that 100% of the people would not do this because urination or pooping is a private thing and restrooms need to be more private and a safe haven for anyone who wants to use it anytime they want. And 
that's the whole point of our video. We want to keep bathrooms a much safer and more comfortable place for you to be in while you need to take care of your business. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.